Exactly. Okay. And then lastly, we'll point out testosterone. So testosterone, again, women, I'm talking to you. Men, obviously, I'm talking to you. Both sexes, we have all of these hormones. Estrogen is just as important in men as it is in women and vice versa. Testosterone is just as important in women as it is in men. They're just dominant in one or the other. So testosterone, in this person, it was normal. Um, kind of mid-range, if you will, at 16. So in this person, it was normal. But let's talk about what low or high testosterone looks like. Low testosterone in men and in women, we see low motivation and drive, low energy. No muscle tone. No muscle tone. Yeah, so you might be exercising, but you can't seem to build the muscle. It's just not, it's not responding the way that you would expect based on your efforts. Um, uh, weight gain goes along with that too, right? Because if you're not able to build muscle, more than likely you're going to have an excess of fat. And that also gets me into the metabolic rate. So slow metabolism. Again, we see that men and in women. Talking about high testosterone, same thing, men and in women, it's going to show up a little bit differently. And women will see um, possibly facial hair growth. I know that sounds weird, but it's, it's actually pretty common might see facial hair growth, um, might see body hair growth, specifically the thick black hairs, might be some irritability, some other like acne we see very often in women. Those are some common signs of high testosterone. And men high testosterone, same thing, we might see acne. We might also see irritability, anger, hostility issues. Um, so, you know, the typical always wanting to get in a fight, always um, you know, quick temper, quick to set off kind of behavior. So too much, not a good thing, too little, not a good thing in men and in women, we want this to be balanced. Now, if it's low as testosterone supplementation, just like talking about progesterone, is that imme the immediate answer? Not always. So if the symptoms are significant and they're really impacting daily life, absolutely, sure. Working with a doctor to help with testosterone, it is a prescription. So we would have to work with a doctor, but that may be the trick to get you feeling better while we're figuring out why your body wasn't able to produce testosterone on its own. So some examples of that could be chronic emotional stress, might be a long-term underlying infection, low-grade underlying infection, might be nutrient deficiencies, blood sugar is huge for this, gut health, so there's a lot of different things that we can work, look at to help your body address those and then help your body be able to produce its own hormones normally. But like I said, in the meantime, sometimes supplemental use of these hormones can be helpful in order to get you feeling better and we can work with the doctor accordingly. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, it's finding what's gonna work best for you. Exactly. Using a combination mm -hmm. of everything that we can possibly get our hands on, mm -hmm. right? It could be clinical, it could be holistic and yeah. everything in between. Exactly. To restore your health. Yes. And the bottom line, what it comes down to is if you're watching this video and you have been struggling, sometimes for years, but if you've been struggling with that, bloating, weight gain, anxiety, depression, insomnia, brain fog, all acne. of these acne, overt hormone imbalance. So men, the, the low motivation and drive, the possibly formation of male breasts, the inability to build muscle in women, horrendous menstrual cycles, um, or even just dysfunctional, if you have PMS or cramping, or if you're into menopause and still having hot flashes, still having weight gain, this is to say it's not all in your head. There's something that we can do about it. And we use tests like this to identify the root cause in order to fix it and restore optimal health long-term.